Hello everybody and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf! Welcome Amiibo! We have two letters. Oh no. Oh, we have one from Gulliver. That one can go. Jeremiah and Red's Gallery. I mean, I could have got rid of the ones from, one from Red's Gallery as well. Um, so Jeremiah! He's checking the fashion magazines at the store, the one besides the candy- the one- the ones beside the candy rack? Well, an article said this is going to be really popular this season. Totally trendy Jeremiah. Okay, so what's going to be really trendy this season? Grape stripe shirt. <laughs> I mean, I could see it. Yeah, we'll wear it for a while. Doesn't look bad. And there is our perfect painting. Got ourselves an amazing work of art. I hear someone wandering around. It's probably Sky. Yep. <laughs> I do want to apologize now if I am not my usual self. I, I haven't exactly been having the best of days, so... Gonna try and make the best of it, though. Beep. Even though I'm ready. Where'd the day go, airmail? So it's in your mind. It's the latest. Hmm. Looking for a little insight on interior design. I'm gonna get something to replace my squid. If you find something that you think that would work, please bring it over. Hmm. That's a hard one, because it's replacing a living being. Yeah, it's... Not the easiest thing to do. But yeah, I've just kind of been bored and kind of depressed all day, so... That's fun. I, I'm... I'm gonna try not to just rant. <laughs> I'm pretty good at not just ranting. I say, having done a series where I basically just rant all the time. Though I did actually... I do actually have something I can mention that... I mean, it's not a topic that any of you will care about. Where's my shovel? Why is it way over there? Hold on. Bam. Um. I'm kind of late to this party, too. But, um. Like, six months ago. Six, seven months ago. Like, summer of last year. The channel Gamers Nexus, which is a tech review channel, called out another tech review channel, Linus Tech Tips, for basically being lazy, scummy, a bit malicious. You know, a bunch of bad things that you would not want a tech reviewer to, to be. Lazy is definitely one of those things. And, you know... LTT took a fair bit of their criticism seriously, mostly because a lot of LTT fans were up in arms going, yeah, this stuff that Gamers Nexus is pointing out is not good. Like, they're literally pointing out that your reviews are inaccurate. Like, this isn't... People, you know, people watch LTT for tech reviews when really what they should have just been watching it for was entertainment and that's all LTT should have been branding itself as as well but you know that's not where the money is is you know it's, it's in tech reviews i messed up the money rock good um but flash forward LTT made an apology video and in that apology video they made mention that they were working on a video about how two people with the same CPU aren't getting the same performance, and they're really proud of it. It took them five months to release that video that apparently they had already been working on, which 
That sounds like a nightmare of a turnover. For that video. They only had like 11 samples of the CPU they used. I don't even think the CPU they used was released when they were supposedly working on it, but I haven't bothered to check, to be honest. I don't care that much about trying to keep them uh, honest. Ooh, Claudia wants something. Or the same old shopping routine, kiddo. How about we spice things up with a trade? Trade your rose sky tea for my turntable. I kind of like this shirt, but sure. But yeah, they, they made that video. A thing to note is that Gamers Nexus also made a video like that. It's a nice trade, right? We, we spiced things up. We did. And you know, I appreciate that. I got water this flower. I apologize for getting your feet wet. Uh, Gamers Nexus also made a video like that, only about a month after having called out LTT. Not even, really. Where they had something like, I think it was like 60 or 80 samples, and the, the, the takeaway, and the point I'm getting to, is that the conclusion of the Gamers Nexus video, after far more samples than what Linus Tech Tips used, was that there was no substantial difference and if another tech reviewer did that same sort of review well same sort of test and came to the conclusion that there was a big difference it's an issue with their testing methodology not the chips themselves linus tech tips video came to the conclusion that there was a difference in the chips, and it was substantial. You know, the exact thing that Gamers Nexus said shouldn't be the conclusion, unless there's a bad testing methodology. And that was something that was a problem, that was known, and LTT acknowledged, was that their testing methodologies were flawed, and their video methodologies were flawed, and that's how these mistakes were getting through. And they effectively showed they haven't learned anything. Except for how to appease their fan base. Which... I, I, this feels mean to say. Like, they're a Canadian company. Linus Tech Tips, Linus Media Group, I suppose it is. I don't think they've earned people's trust back in the way they've been giving that trust. Like... I've been poking in periodically, because I used to watch a bit of LTT. I could notice some of the flaws, they, were, you know, some of the, the issues they were having, and I'm not that tech-savvy. I only started getting into tech, like, a little over a year ago, you know? And I'm able to notice errors. Ooh. Here we have Dandelion Puff. We can hold it. And... We can blow it. That has a chance of spawning dandelions. Whoops, I did not... I've been playing too many other games. Uh, let's get our watering cam back in our hand. I actually just started recording this after having been playing some, uh... Ooh, we have a camper! Glad I came out to check. I was playing some Star Ocean Second Story, like the original PlayStation version. Just feels nice to play. So, camper! Well, we got... And I will talk to the villagers I walked just... I just walked past. Ooh, you're cute! Lucy. Hello, I hope it's alright. The setup camp here? I'd heard rumors about how lovely your town is, and I've been craving fresh cherry juice. Certainly going to enjoy the time I spend here. I hope we get to know each other. She has a nice song. I like the song. Ooh, I can't actually see what it is. But I also don't, like, I kind of want an equal number of males and females. It's like she's cute. I would give head pats. 
but we have more girls than guys already. I don't want to weigh it too heavily, girls. Okay, now let's see if I can find some of our some of our villagers. I think I'm now too late to go to like um, the shops other than the main one, but. Good to see you, genius. Nice evening to get out and about, queen. So what's going on? Want chat? Got the urge, genius. The urge to eat fruit. Can't resist all the call of a certain kind. The cherry. Of course I'll get you a cherry. There's a cherry tree right here. There's a cherry. Hey, Carlos, got you a cherry. Looking cool as a fair number of cucumbers. Please take this cherry. Yes, exactly what I wanted, genius. I just love the flavor of this fruit, genius. It always leaves a lovely afterglow in your mouth. It really satisfies my urge for a cherry. I'll deli for delivering such a delicious fruit, I need to give you something good. I have in my library wall. Alright. Sounds good to me. I'm always going to associate you with fruit from now on. That's fair. Jeremiah! Hmm? Is something there? Oh, it's Dr. S. Sorry, it was so dark I couldn't see a thing. Anyway, do you need something? I want to chat. Um, I have something I want to give to Gabby, but I'm so hungry I can't move very far. So you can make a delivery to Gabby for me? I'll take care of it. Great, here's what I want you to deliver. Can do, Jeremiah. I mean, what else is I gonna do? I do find it kind of funny. This is a mild slight at myself, but also it's just kind of an ironic thing. I don't think any of y'all watching ever have to worry about me getting involved in drama. Or like, you know, anything to that scale. Because I don't do anything. <laughs> And so you today, Pookies. What's going on? Delivery! I mean, what you get is what... You know, is what I am. And, like, I just, like... I don't really interact with people. Like, outside of... Sapphire and her friends. I barely interact with her friends. Like... <laughs> is this thing I asked Jeremiah for? Right, let's open this up right now. That's right, Fruit Pond. I asked for a right platform. <laughs> so much nicer in person. Thanks for your help. Here's a thank you gift, Fruit Bun. It's a left platform. It's an orange cone. I can become a wizard. Yes. I literally only know that because of Vine Sauce. Okay, now we gotta go tell Jeremiah I delivered it. Hello, Jeremiah. It's already eight, huh? Where's the time go, Squeak? What's up? Handed it over. Oh, yeah, thanks a bunch for making the delivery to Gabby. So, is Gabby happy? Here's how it went. Oh, really? It's great. You got a thank you gift for delivery. It's pretty great. Now, I think it was just Claudia out down here, so... Oh, I'm yawning. I do not wish to yawn. But I've yawned once and now it will not stop. Okay. Um, how much inventory space do I have? Three spaces. Okay, I could go to the KK concert right away. But I feel like that's a better way to end the day than, you know, middle of it. I mean, it is the end of the day, but the... The episode. It's better, like, at the end of an episode. Oh, hey, it's literally the ghost umbrella again. Um, you know, let's get some, sh like, proper shades. Yeah. I'll keep them on. There's a knit do hat. But 
Okay, I think the only danger of me ever getting into any sort of, like, controversy is just on something I say, and, like, I'll say now, yeah, I, I probably have some opinions people aren't gonna like. But also other people have opinions I don't like, and I'm perfectly happy with that. Like, I'm not gonna try and police other people's opinions. Like... I tend to look at things from a perspective of trying to care the most about other people, and that leads to even some arguments with close family, like... It's not like a big controversial thing, and I'm not gonna just sit here and drop my controversial thoughts. You know, in my mind, they're controversial. They're controversial based on what the internet tells me. Um, this is more controversial based on what my, my family thinks. I'm in the camp where I would very much prefer if someone is going to spontaneously visit that they would at least give some level of heads up before showing up. And that's because I would do the same. Like, if I'm spontaneously going to visit somebody, I'm probably going to not actually let, you know, I'm going to let them know. I'm not just going to show up on their doorstep. Like... I'm not gonna, like, text them in their driveway and be like, Hey, I'm here. I'm coming in. Like, I don't know what they're doing. I'd, I'd rather, you know, be respectful of them, their time, their space. But that's apparently the, like, the worst thing I could ever think. Ooh, there's a bulletin. We have a rare shopping cart for sale. It's magic. Hmm. Temptation. To buy the shopping cart. I have no need for a shopping cart. There is no villager we have that a shopping cart would make sense for. I'm not going to be buying it. Why am I heading to the house? I need to go to retail. Brain, work with me. And like, I'm sure some of you watching probably disagree with me on that that like hey just showing up randomly that's that's nice but like i look at it from my own perspective of i would like to know and i would also like other people to know when i'm gonna show up so that you know i don't catch them completely you know busy or um you know out of town maybe like you don't know We have almost, almost 50,000 bells. I'm going to get some money out. If turnip prices are good tomorrow, I'll get some money out anyway to deal with turnips. I also look at it from the perspective of being someone who has a, let's just say, unique hygiene routine. That being, if I know there's company coming over, I'll shower. If I need to leave the house, I'll shower. Otherwise, I hate being wet. I don't shower. Which I know a lot of you are probably going, gross. And yeah, you're right. I will fully admit, it's gross. But I loathe being wet. Like, I do not like the feeling. It feels awful. I don't like it at all. So like, why would I put myself through that feeling for nothing? You know? <laughs> and, like, I get. That's that's a me thing. Like, and I do, like I said, if I know someone's coming over, I'll shower. When I don't know they're coming over, I can't shower. Like, you know? <laughs> I'm sure anyone visiting would appreciate me being showered. Especially if it's been, like, six months or more since I left the house. Though I will, I will add a note to that of I do shower, you know, at least try to every couple months because my smell will start to get to me. Like. And like, as, as I mentioned, like, I get it's gross. <laughs> you don't need to tell me. I know. 
if if, uh, if Sapphire was directly living here, I would probably be showering more often for her sake. Like, you know. I'd still absolutely hate it. Like, fun fact, when I was an infant, I still hated the water. <laughs> like, this is something I've just always disliked. Like, I was basically born with a hatred and dislike of water, so... It, it's just one of those things of that's just how I am. And like, you know, sure, I could... I could force myself through showering more often, but one... It's not like I have a job right now. Um, what I'm doing right now is the closest thing to a job I have. And I'd rather not go through a lot of shampoo as well. Like, there's there's an economical side of this as well. <laughs> Hello, Brofina. What a coincidence meeting you here. What you like to talk about? It's the latest. Section here is great. It's fun to just look, but let's get real. It's more fun to buy. It is when they have stuff I actually, like, want. Modest two play coins. Yeah, I'm interested. What is our daily fortune? Munch, 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 munch. I swear if it's water related. Work, work long and hard and good things will come to you eventually. I mean, that's basically how I've been living my life. Got a lucky ticket. Let's see here, number 57. Congratulations! It's a new Nintendo 3DS! Oh man, the system that's losing its internet in like... A month. KK Ragtime. We definitely don't have this one. So I will take it. I swear if that's what KK plays tonight. <laughs> He's gonna play it just because I bought it, isn't he? Um, I'm actually going to. Just because I'm slightly paranoid about him not giving us a track. Because I have that in my inventory. I'm gonna do that. Now, let's quickly head to the post office, because I would like to save some letters before I forget, and then we need, like, space. I really wish I could store the, uh, the time capsule. Like, I, I... I want it stored somewhere. I might just, like, set it on the floor in the basement. Save mail. Okay. Gonna need touchscreen for this, because otherwise this is just... A nightmare. <gasps> no! I did not want to do that. I feel bad now. Temptation to reset. Hi. <laughs> I won't. I did not mean to do... I was just trying to see if that was... I, mm, I should have just known that was uh, Jeremiah's. I just... That's the letter we got today. I'm getting us a shirt. We have the shirt. I'm keeping the shirt. The shirt's staying forever now. Just adds to my not very great day. I know that sounds stupid, but like my heart sunk. Ooh, Lobo's in here for the music. Ooh, Steven. You see a rad show too, Aru? Need something? Let's chat. You put in a request? I happen to like reggae style of music the best. I don't know what that means. Back for more? Down for my sound? You know it. Cool. Taking requests, you got an itch for an old favorite. You belt out the name of a song, and just tell me how you're feeling. Yeah, I'll let you pick. Like surprises? No problem. Got just the tune. Dig it. I'm ready like Freddy, so sit and be steady. No, I'm gonna sit next to Lobo. Enough tuning, let's groove. Next one's for you, KK Flamenco.
That was nice. Cool man, cool. Check your pockets. Slip you a boot of the song. That was nice. You like it, Lobo? Hey, you liked it. Yeah, I think that's probably gonna be about it for today. I do apologize. I was more just rambling today. Like, I, I at least I'm gonna try not to rant. And I just kind of ranted all day. Uh, better days have to be coming soon, right? That's, that's how it works. You have bad days long enough, and you have some good days. I might eventually have some. A few years from now. Maybe. <laughs> it's hard to remain hopeful. But, that's just kind of my thing. I try to always stay at least a bit optimistic. No point fully giving in to the pessimism, I mean. Surely things will get better. Now, let us put these songs into the radio. I still feel really bad I actually threw away that letter. Uh... We'll start with Flamenco. Pretty sure we've heard this one in a villager's house. It's pretty nice. I do like it a lot. I also really like those dresses. They're really cool. We have Ragtime. Pretty nice. Think I'm gonna. You know what? KK Metal. We'll leave it at this for now. The, the funny thing is, this one doesn't seem as loud as some of the others. Even though this one should be the loudest. This should be like ear piercingly loud. You should be able to hear it on other floors, like... But, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna deal with this other stuff, like... Tomorrow... Well, I can put stuff away now. Um... What do we got? Sweet Olive... 
Wow, we do not have many sweet olive. And azalea. I didn't donate the painting. We can donate it tomorrow. It's not going to hurt to donate it tomorrow. I just don't feel like making the trip all the way back up to the museum. It's kind of the problem with living where I'm living. Is it's such a long trip to get back to the museum. That like a lot of the time I just don't want to do it. Hopefully I don't forget and accidentally sell it. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thanks y'all very much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you back here tomorrow for more Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. See you all then.